drive to Sears left wing. Ten on the shot clock. Fires the three. Misses it. Rebound tipped by Estrada. Controlled by Georgia. Then knocked away. And again, a scramble on the deck that Georgia will come out with. In transition, Thomason. Left side and the dunk for two by Thomason. 55-42, the Georgia lead at 13. Sears going to the basket, puts it up, off the glass and in, muscled his way to the rim. Mark Sears, a huge bucket there. He's only got eight. Maybe that'll get him going as the tide is back to within 11. Alabama wasn't able to get back in transition defense, but Georgia did the same thing as Mark Sears able to score and cut this lead to 11. Alabama needs stops on the defensive end. Dimery with a basketball, getting it into the paint, then pushing it outside to Kane. He'll drive in, runner off balance, got it to go. Back to 13 again for the Dogs. Bama with 10.40 to go, has it front court. Sears fighting Estrada, driving right, stopping, backing it out, flipping it over to Sears left wing. Catch and shoot three. Here he comes. Here he comes. The SEC's top scorer, Mark Sears, buries another one. A bank first three-pointer. And Bama's to within 10 with 10 minutes and 22 seconds to play. Hopefully that will get the lid off the basket. But Bama not able to get consistent stops. Georgia shooting 64% here in the second half. They call Estrada for the reach as he knocked it away from Demery and a few not so pleasantries being exchanged by a couple of players to our left. Couldn't tell who was involved. Doesn't matter. Just a little dust up. Timeout on the floor. Bama battling back in it. Still down 10. 57-47. The inbounds pass goes to Chiwa who's checked back in. He'll drive baseline. Lost it. Got it back. Spins underneath. Lays it up. Got it to go. Big fella got position deep and was able to score over Grant Nelson as Chiwa now has 10 to go with his six rebounds and three turnovers. Sears to Nelson to the right, plays it up, got it to go. Grant Nelson putting Bama back to within 10 with 9.50 remaining. Hill front court for the Bulldogs. Goes to his right. Defended by Sears. Picks up the dribble, needs help. Still looking, gives it off to Chiwa. Thought about a jumper. I wish he would. He'll back down instead. Gets into the paint. Spins, steps through. Misses the layup. Rebound fought for, and Walters picks it up. Ahead now to Griffin. Pushes it front court. Ryland lets Walters or Nelson catch up. Driving will be Griffin in the paint. The floater is good. And Bama is to within 8. 59-51. 9-12 remaining in the ball game. We've seen Alabama's guards pull up from mid-range. Nice floater from Ryland Griffin. Nice defense a play by Grant Nelson against the seven-footer, Chiwa. Hill trying to drive, got cut off, backs it out, gives it off to Thomason. Thomason going left, stops on the wing, hesitates, goes down the lane, shot no, rebounded inside Chiwa, shot up, no good, rebounded weak side, Walters, and Bamba can cut it to six or maybe five with a three-pointer. Griffin has it on the wing, Griffin has it down the lane, dumps it off inside Nelson, had it blocked from behind, the block by Kane, who now brings it ahead. Kane with a basketball, crosses over, kicks it out left side to Hill. 20 to shoot, 8.30 to play. Georgia the ball in an eight-point lead. Kane, a deep three, no. Long rebound into the hands of Sears, and Mark will push it ahead. Sears, left side, Nelson, back to Sears, to the elbow, into the paint, backing it out, working beyond the arc again. Sears dribbles near side, Reichsel for three, no good. Weak side rebound, and a foul is going to be whistled on Georgia as Griffin got knocked to the deck. It will be Aaron Estrada who will inbound it from the baseline just to the left of the Alabama basket. Seven-footer from Douala, Cameroon, Russell Chiwa. Face guarding him, making it really tough to see. Trying to get it in, gets it into the corner to Reitzel. Latrell brings it to the wing, gives it off to Griffin. Ryland going into the lane, tough shot, it is good, and he is fouled. An and one opportunity upcoming for Ryland Griffin. And the Dallas standout will try to pull Alabama to within five with 8.03 to go. Just said the best move of the game was the floater from Ryland Griffin a few possessions ago. I changed my mind. It was that play right there as he spun in the lane, took it right at the seven-footer. 
Got the foul, the friendly roll, and a three-point play opportunity coming up. Melendez out with four fouls as the free throw goes in. Griffin with a bucket now has eight, and Alabama checked that nine points for Griffin as Bama's two and then five. Had been that close since the early moments. I think it was 7-2 to the last time Bama was that close. Hill with a basketball for Georgia. Gets into the paint. Cut off there. Has to bring it back out beyond the arc. Feeds it off to Thomason. Thomason driving in. Porter is up. No good. Rebound fought for. They get a reset to 20. The dogs with the ball. Driving baseline. Putting up the leaner and drawing a foul is Abdur Rahim. And Alabama is on a 7-0 run. And it'll be Abdul Rahim with a second chance opportunity, one of the best free throw shooters in the SEC. Georgia 0 for their last five. Alabama not able to get the defensive rebound. Thought it should have been a jump ball, no call. But instead, it'll be Abdul Rahim at the line. He had five points in the first probably six minutes, but he had two fouls and had to come out of the game. And it's not been a major factor, only 14 points, three fouls, two turnovers, a steal, and now six points as he hits the first free throw. He'll have another one upcoming, trying to make it a seven-point Georgia lead, and he does. So important for the Alabama guards to rebound with this lineup. Alabama going small. This is a starting lineup, but essentially four guards and Grant Nelson. Estrada trying to work away from a double team, gives it off to Sears. Mark gives it off to Nelson, fakes a pass, now gives it to Estrada, throws it back left side to Reitzel. Latrell trying to shake free at 10 to Estrada at 8, into the corner to Griffin. Deep three, no good. Weak side rebound, Sears had a hand on it, but couldn't control it. It goes out of bounds, and possession will belong to the Bulldogs. Great look from Rylan Griffin in the corner. Not able to convert. Feels like Alabama's going to have to make some threes here. The last 7.05 of this game to get the road win. It's been all Georgia, but Alabama in pretty good position because of what they've done lately on the defensive end. Alabama just 3 of 17 from the arc. Georgia 7 of 15. Near still right, so he does get it. On a run out, Latrell to the hoop, lays it in. And Alabama is back to within 5, 61-56 with 6.40 remaining. Georgia, we're out of work in bounds. Did they turn it over? No, they say Bama touched it on the baseline. Latrell Reitzel hounding the man trying to bring it ahead in Hill, and instead the dogs will have to inbound it once more. Alabama extending their defense, and a terrific on-ball defender, Latrell Reitzel, almost had to steal. Georgia will get it back. Oh, and they're going to call a push on Mark Sears as Demery was losing his footing, and they say it's because Mark gave him a little push to the back, and Mark didn't argue. He seems to agree, as that is going to be his second personal. Reitzel, a well-earned breather, and Jaron Stevenson comes in to replace him for the Crimson Tide. 6.38 to go. One plus the bonus upcoming. Every foul from this point forward will result in free throws. Well, Alabama with some near misses. A couple of almost steals, and instead it's Georgia back in the line. The front end of the one and one good by Demery as Georgia's made 11 of 12 from the stripe in this ball game. Alabama just three of nine. Nothing characteristic in those two columns right by each other. Three-point shooting or free throw numbers for Alabama. Free throw, Demery up and good. He got them both. And the big man, Chiwa, will exit, replaced again by a guy who's been solid, if not spectacular, in Jalen Deloach. Here's the Strata running front court for Bama. Trying to work away from a double team, and he is fouled. That's going to be on Deloach, and that'll send a good free throw shooter to the stripe with 6.31 to go, and Bama trailing 63-56. to 56, A one-and-one one opportunity upcoming for the Hofstra transfer for the Crimson Tide in Aaron Estrada. Smart play by Estrada. Georgia had the trap, the hesitation move, got Estrada free, took the contact. Important one-and-one one coming up. A chance for Alabama to cut into this lead with the clock stopped and maybe set up some more full-court pressure. Woodbury, New Jersey native, knocks home the first. The grad transfer from Hofstra, as we said. 
And Aaron Estrada making one. He'll have another one here, trying to get Bama to within five again. Free throw up and good. And Estrada makes it 63-58. Aaron Estrada with 11 points at 18 Saturday night against the LSU Tigers. Georgia working at front court with Demery. Working to his left, got into the lane, ran into the back of an Alabama player, and surely they're not going to call that on the tie. They did. They called it on Grant Nelson. Oh, Joe Lindsay, that is a tough call. I got to see that again. Well, all right, so he fouled number 23 for Georgia, Jalen Deloach, but it's because Demry knocked him into Deloach. He was in good position. And unfortunately, who is going to shoot the free throws? He just made a couple, and he rattles that one in. 64-58. Georgia with the lead, as they have from the start. Bama's never led in this one. Second free throw upcoming. And that one's long, no good, and a rebound for Jaron Stevenson. Ahead to Estrada, who will run the other way. Estrada got underneath, gives it off to Sears in the corner. 4-3, and it is good. Bottom, bank first, brings you another made three. And Bama is to within three with six minutes to go. What a job by Aaron Estrada to push the ball, converge the defense. Mark Sears was not open, but he went up with confidence, as he should, and knocks down a huge three for Bama. Sears with eight in the last five minutes. Inside, the dunk attempt looked like me as Kane went flying in and threw it into row four. Look that like, will not make his highlight reel. Looked like he lost the ball going up, trying to throw it down. Alabama may have gotten the deflection as Kane was going into his shot, and Alabama gets a huge stop. Yeah. 64-61, Bama with the ball down three. Estrada with it on the wing, throws it down low. Kick, Griffin, three, and let's start over. 64 all with 5.30 to go. Bama has tied it up. Bulldogs with it front court. It's Demery kicking it to the left wing. Abdul Rahim tied up, backs his way down now against Estrada. Estrada. Inside, Abdur Rahim, tough leader from eight. No, rebound, Nelson. Hit Bama looks for its first lead of the night. Estrada front court, looking fine, Sears. Sears wants it. He's had eight points in the last five minutes. Sears with it, around to Estrada. Estrada going left. Estrada puts it up, off the glass. No, Nelson, yes, and Bama has taken the lead. An 8-0 run in the last minute and a half, and Bama leads it 66 to 64. And it started with defense. Yes, Alabama's making shots, but getting it done defensively, Georgia 0 for their last seven. Bulldogs front court, Demery with it, going to his right. Demery down the lane, left-handed layup is good. Tied again at 66. Bama with the basketball as Georgia has knotted it up with 4.20 to go. The Lopes had Grant Nelson sealed off. He wasn't able to come over and help. Bama down as many as 16 late in the first half. But it's tied it up. Now going for lead again. Sears, he's red, smoking, hot. Mark Sears, he now has 17. He was at six just a few minutes ago. But the top player in the SEC looking like it right now. His Bama leads by three. Bulldogs left wing. Dribbling to his right. Thomason gets into the paint. Floater left hand. No. Rebound tipped into the hands of guess who? Mark Sears. He'll run the other way. Sears down the lane. Sears to the rack, no good, but he's hacked. He'll go to the line. He'll shoot three throws when we come back to Athens. 340 remains. 69-66 our score. He's in front of us, pretty sure that it should have been a hook and hold with what they're seeing on their iPads yeah. here at courtside. And Mark Sears, after that delay, knocks down the free throw. And he'll have another one upcoming. Bama, its biggest lead at four points, 70 to 66. Again, they didn't have a lead, so there were about five minutes to go in this game, six minutes.
First time they went on top. Sears hits them both. Ibama leads by five. Stop here would be huge. Bulldogs getting it left side. Melendez playing with four fouls. Melendez trying to shake free. Melendez against Estrada goes left. Gets into the paint. Runner up, no good. Rebound tipped. Fault four. Claimed by Alabama. I'm not sure if it was Griffin or who got it. Ryland may have gotten the board, but Bama's got the ball with 3.14 to go. Right. On top, 71-66. Georgia now one for their last 10. Alabama doing a great job of defending without fouling. Sears trying to play a little keep away right now. Shot clock down to 10. Estrada at 9. At 8. Estrada at 7. Over to Griffin at 6. At 5. Griffin to Estrada. Somebody shoot it. Aaron does. And Aaron can't get it to go. And the rebound is claimed by Chibwa. And here comes Georgia the other way. Again, Bama still up by 5. We're now 2.42 to go. Driving into the lane. Leader with the left hand. Up and good by Thomason as the Bulldogs cut the Bama advantage back down to 3. That is Georgia's first field goal in a while. Thomason with the floater was so good with those in the first half. Alabama did not get a look, good look on their last offensive possession. Bama five of its last seven, as Brian told you. The Dogs two of their last 11. Inside Nelson to the rack. Got fouled, and Grant will go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Nice high pick and roll. Alabama went late in the shot clock. Got a decent look from Rylan Griffin, a shot that he can make. They're pretty well defended by the Georgia Bulldogs. Alabama goes a little earlier in the clock. High pick and roll with Mark Sears. Beautiful look inside to Grant Nelson, who took a lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Jabri Abdur-Rahim, the top scorer for Georgia coming in, fouls out having only scored seven points, two turnovers, and a steal in 20 minutes. He exits the game as Georgia will make a change getting Justin Hill into the game, replacing Abdur Rahim. And Nelson goes to the line. He's been huge in this game on the defensive end. He does have 12 points, just three rebounds. A couple of big free throws coming up right here for Grant. First of two, up and it's perfect. Nelson knocks it down and puts the Bama lead back to four with 2.16 to go. Bama trying to gut one out here on the road. Trailing for the first 35 minutes of this one. They get both free throws from Nelson, and the tide is up by five again. Georgia with the basketball. 2.10 to go. Front court with the dribble is Hill. Hill going to his right. Going down the lane, he'll put it up. They'll call the foul. No! They call continuation on that. That should have been on the floor, but Lee Cassell calls it an and one opportunity. Wow, that is tough. That whistle seemed to come on the floor. A good dribble, maybe even two before he released the basketball. And instead, it's going to be an and one opportunity for Hill, who got his first two points of the game. And now he's got three, and that's a big possession for the Dogs. They've cut the Bama lead to two with two minutes remaining. Well, that is a tough call. It's the right call, and then it was a foul, but looked to be early, and Georgia able to capitalize. Sears back to Nelson. Top of the arc. Three. Bottom. Oh, do it, baby. A bank first three from the pride of North Dakota. He looks great in crimson. He gets Bama the lead by five, but on the other end, Georgia answers. I think it may have been Hill again. His only five of the game have come on the last two trips, and Bama has it up three with a minute 27 to go. It was well defended, but Hill able to score at the rim after the pump fake. Sears to Nelson, do it again. He does! Six, Georgia to answer. No, rebound tipped. Rebound Bulldogs. They'll throw it left side. They'll drive baseline with Demery. Reverse layup. No, Bama's got it. A minute to play. Up six with the ball. Get it in the hands of the guy who's got it, Mark Sears. Alabama running clock with under a minute to play. Sears with it. Playing keep away out there midcourt from Demery. 14 on the shot clock. 42 on the game clock. Sears playing off the screen. Sears driving downhill. Layup. Good. And Alabama may have just iced 
missed it. Up eight with 35 seconds to go. Biggest lead of the night. Take away by Reitzel, but a foul is going to be called on Latrell with 31.9 remaining. And all the puppies are heading for the house. How about Grant Nelson? Hasn't hit a three in a couple of weeks, it seems like. Back-to-back -back dagger threes. An 8-0 Grant Nelson run as he started it off with a couple of free throws. And he hesitated. He let it fly. Both times, a couple of daggers as several Bulldogs head for the exits. 31.9 seconds to play. Alabama up eight with Georgia at the line. How about this Alabama team down 16 at one point, 14 at halftime. Double-digit lead for the Dogs throughout most of this game, but Bama battles back in a great position with just over 30 seconds to play in this one. First free throw up and good. One more upcoming for Demery. Deloach in as Chiwa sits down. 81-74, Bama with the lead. Georgia trying to cut it to a six-point advantage. Free throw up from Dimmer. It's no good. It's just up and in, though, amazingly, by Melendez. So it's down to a five-point game. Bama, though, gets it into Sears. Mark gets front court. He gets fouled, and he'll go to the line to try to make it as much as a seven-point lead again. Boy, that is a tough break as Alabama having gone small in this game and has paid off for Nate Oates. Georgia able to push Alabama interior players trying to get a block out on the free throw. Got the tip in. And Sears at the line for a couple of big ones. <laughs> he had six points almost midway through the second half. He's got 22 now. Mark Sears. Unbelievable, but he's had help tonight. This Bama team has been tremendous. Grant Nelson with 20 after a couple of late threes. Mark hits them both. Bama now 11 of 17 from the free throw line. And the Tide leads it by seven. Near steal by Sears, but Georgia's got it. Nearly lost it again. They do. Estrada to the deck. Saves it. Needs a teammate to pick it up, and they do in right. So he gets fouled, and we're 13 and a half seconds. Oh, from a huge, huge, huge win here in Athens, Georgia. And, man, I had seen this many dejected Georgia fans <laughs> leave a building early since. Not know. that long ago, Chris. Not long at all. Boy, how about the heart and toughness of this Alabama team? One of the best free throw shooting teams and three-point shooting teams in the country could not make a free throw, could not make a three. Stuck with it. And how about Grant Nelson? Hasn't made a three since the Missouri game. He has struggled mightily from deep. And without those two threes, I'm not sure Alabama walks out of here with a win. But what an incredible performance here late in the half for Alabama. Reitzel hits them both. Bama by nine. Three is up. Three is missed. And we are five, four, three, two, and one. What do you say? Let's get out of here. Bama, an 85-76 win over the Georgia Bulldogs.